Hey, good morning, my friends. Welcome to my channel, Prodbug, and we are uh, going through the APM series with uh, 2.0 and Java Client 8.x. Uh, fine. So let's continue. Uh, I hope the previous chapter is clear, and we have till now we have seen all the capabilities, how to set up the APM, uh, how to deal with different different locators, XPath, accessibility ID, uh, normal ID, and class name. Yeah, we have seen all those things, locators. So now let's move forward and learn something new. Okay, so uh, in this particular chapter, I decided to uh, automate another APK, which is uh, another wonderful APK. I will just show you uh, this one, Source Lab. Okay, so and if you want to, I hope uh, you have gone through the first chapter. And if you missed the, that particular part, you can go to the Source Lab website, GitHub Source Lab, and you can download the APK respect to your uh, maybe if you are working with Android just download this particular APK okay and just drag and drop that this APK into your uh, emulator and this will be installed okay and if I click here so see this is the APK very nice you can practice on this this is a look uh, absolutely look like a e-commerce website and this is really good you can automate a lot of things here okay you can click here you can click here a lot of things are there okay star and all this thing it's a wonderful app okay wonderful app you can just try to practice your APM on this free APK yeah okay so let's uh, see uh, what are the capabilities to start with this one okay so this is the class so let's go to this particular uh, uh, capabilities okay so go to here and just focus on this okay yeah, just focus on this uh, what also i have already explained all this code but uh, okay so you know uh, i am reading apk file from my project okay so this is the under the build i just put it uh, this apk let me go here show you uh, where is builds right so under the resources here is the build folder i created and here is the apk i downloaded and put it here okay and i just given the so class loaded dot get resource so till get resources we will automatically get the path of source test resources okay so after that we need to specify the path so under the resources it's only build and apk so only builds and apk will come here you don't need to pass the complete path okay hard coded path okay so this is how we are reading uh, apk and we are passing this apk path here okay okay so we are automatic for android uh, 8.1 i hope you still remember if not let me run this command again for you guys and uh, go to here okay apm is already running here so let me open another git bash paste and 8.1 okay so here uh, via this command you can easily fetch and now this is important part to get the activity and package related information you need to paste this command and hit enter okay so again see nexus and all this thing is coming so if this is coming i already told you i am repeating myself again so your, your emulator should open the apk then only this command will work okay so why right now this is not the correct activity we are looking for so what you have to do open see right now nothing is running here right that's why uh, some uh, other activities are coming which are which may be running behind the scene in background right so you click on this now this apk is up and running now just rerun the same command so here see now the correct uh, package and activities are coming so just copy paste com source lab my demo app dot rn and dot main activity just copy these two value and paste them here uh, so this is the for source lab so just com source lab my demo apk dot rn paste here in the app package and in the app activity just copy dot main activity that's it okay you can copy this complete path here as well dot main activity both will work okay so this is uh, uh, done i think nothing else required here and this will return this option what is option ui automated to option okay so object of this so we are returning basically this one and we are passing object of ui automated to uh, where here okay in the android driver it will take two parameters one will be url another will be 
uh, this desired capability if you see here what i am passing here so this is the capability only it's a, it look like an interface so we can pass ui automator or the desired capability in this particular capabilities okay let me see once if it allow me to click okay okay so we need to check but 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 it's yeah it's an interface right so my guess is correct so it's i so it's interface so interface you can pass here the desired capability as per the old uh, uh, java client uh, and with the latest java client we are passing ui automated to here in this to this particular interface right so i hope this particular thing is clear to you i am repeating again and again this thing uh fine so the uh, this thing is done uh and let me open okay so this is one is the old one so let's close from here not from here close uh, go to the saved setting i already saved click on the edit so this window will be populated so platform name everything is same just we replaced this and this rest everything is exactly same so always save as okay so look here save as so don't you don't need to enter this again and again just save it and you can start the session okay click on the start okay so it's starting and it's captured this one okay so i i simply automated a very very basic thing login part okay that's it nothing else so we will click here on this particular three lines so okay this is the xpath this is the index okay so a lot of things are there and we'll go here as well let's try to see where it is okay so this is open so content description is open menu now if you notice see you need to be very careful while doing uh, finding the locators if you see this part there are no not much locators are given here right so this is a very weird xpath yeah xpath is looks okay to me uh, you can pick this one but uh, again uh, very long but we can take but other other than that there are no content description right no accessibility id given here nothing is given here right so but here you can see content description as well so you can directly use the open menu in uh, you know uh, find by using accessibility id i hope you still remember that rule if the content description is given we can use accessibility id locator strategy so you can use that as well so let's see so i'm just calling this particular basic flow method so there i have automated only one flow you can add your own test cases so see i have i have not used xpath okay so i have used accessibility id and i use the open menu and open menu is not given in this particular screen okay so you need to apply your own mind you can either use xpath it, it's a bit long a bit weird so i use the open menu yeah so this is much better uh, locator okay so so always try to look this screen as well never look only the screen if this is the best example i am showing to you yeah okay so i i i use this strategy so drive dot find element appm by you can use by here i told you okay no problem I, I just import this and in the previous example i have already shown you okay so let me control z okay so click on here so this is the open menu we clicked on this and now let's click on the tab and click here okay so next screen will come okay here now again click here just to find the uh, locators now i want to click on the login click on the login the login locators will come again try to find where is the login here again click login okay so this is the login screen yeah so what we are doing next we are clicking login so menu item so this is the id i took menu item log in okay let's try to find where it is in this screen uh no in this screen there is nothing no no uh, similarly like in the last time nothing is given okay let's try to find here let me click again uh it's here yeah it's here okay so you need to find out okay uh where is that is this one no yeah it's here only let's see where it is
interesting okay so let me see what again menu item log in right hmm. let me pause let me find out we'll continue then okay guys so i am able to find this particular element which i uh, when i am writing this code i am able to find but now i i find difficult but finally i am uh, able to find login okay so i will tell you why this is happening okay why this is not very straightforward but uh, look at here so this is the path basically okay from here if you come here this is the content menu item catalog okay so all the menu uh, are coming under this menu item catalog if you go here web view look here web view is coming here web view qr code and similarly if you go here this is the login one okay uh, below the fingerprints biometric here is the login so menu item login and if you click here okay so you can see this is the xpath this is better xpath okay uh, view group uh, with content description and here you can see the content description as well menu item so i used i i picked this particular locator and why this is happening i will just tell you see this is a uh, github for source lab from where we have downloaded the apk so what they have written in this repository you will find the source lab my demo app for react native application okay so this particular application has been created in react okay so if you have such kind of react related api so you may find some kind of difficulty it's not very straightforward like you uh, so so this this is clear right now if i will go here and if you click here so see can you see it's it's kind of image here okay so it's not very clearly you will get a login here in one go so initially we are getting something this image view it's not straightforward so so this is not working here in this uh, like uh, apm uh, inspector is not exactly working in this particular case if the application is in react so that's why i picked this particular apk so it's a good learning for you uh, that uh, it's not always that you just click here and copy the x path simply no it will not work all the time if the application is in react you have to be very careful you have to dig down here you have to find here etc etc all these things okay so this is the beauty of react okay so but ultimately we found we found our uh, this particular locator and no need to use this x path and definitely it will not work as well because this is something else okay so here we are going to click on the login button okay so login has been clicked we are able to find this particular locator and then what else so let me click on the tab click login okay so now the username and password is coming see password is already given here by the source lab so 10 20 30 40 so you and username is already given so we have to, we have to use exactly the same user and password and here uh, for this okay so i simply send this and uh, password and simply click on the uh, login button that's it okay so let again try to find this time if we can able to find ah this time uh, we are able to click right clearly okay good so username input field so you can see we have used a content description in accessibility id okay so content description can be easily accessed via accessibility id okay okay so this time we are able to find and password is password input field password input fields so this is the locator okay and login so i hope login will be very much clear yeah login button so where is the login okay this time i am using the x path okay so for a change we have used the x path okay so i hope these locators are clear to you and now let's try to run our code simply click right click and run okay so appm server is already running make sure your appm server is up and running and let's see this is the appm server and okay we click on username password and login button so we are able to successfully logged in this. so now you uh, what i will recommend you you go here uh, you can practice logout and uh, within okay so see this is already logged in okay so i think we need to log out first and you can practice some more okay log out yeah see a lot of features are available here successfully log out you can just try to automate each and everything okay you can try to uh, 
locked out okay so this is locked out you can try with ls and try to enter the same password and just see what happens okay so just just play around with this particular app so i just given uh, to you guys only one particular demo uh, flow for you and uh, we have seen some problem while handling the menu okay so menu is not very straightforward you have to give some time to find the locators in menu and that is because of that react uh, application okay otherwise we would have easily accessed all the item but in other cases we don't find any uh, problem finding the locator for username and password okay so it depends it depends upon the application so if you are not able to find try to uh, apply some different strategy which we have applied in this particular case so i hope this particular case is clear to you and now in the next uh, chapter we'll see how we can run uh, everything without uh, running this appm locally so right now i'm running this appm locally but in this next particular we are not going to run our appm like you know uh, manually we are running this appm so via the code it's going to be a bit difficult but we'll see we have all the code up and running i will show you how we can run it okay so till then see you in the next chapter thank you for watching and learning something new have a good day